Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The long-range stealth bomber, V-2 Spirit, first flew in 1989. It is a key component of the United States long-range strike arsenal and one of the most survivable aircraft in the world. The stealth characteristics of B-2 allow it to penetrate through the most powerful enemy defenses. It is an engineering marvel and one of the finest examples of American air superiority. The B-2 is a flying wing, a configuration that consists of a comparatively short but very broad wing with no fuselage and tail. Each B-2 requires a climate-controlled hangar bay, large enough for its 172-foot wingspan to protect the operational integrity of its radar-absorbent material and coatings. A typical B-2 hangar bay is 126 feet long, 250 feet wide, and 55 feet high. The B-2 bomber is acknowledged as the only aircraft capable of carrying large air-to-surface weapons in a stealth configuration. It has various conventional weapons in its arsenal. The bomber can also deploy thermonuclear weapons. Certain factors result in the smooth takeoff of the B-2 bomber. During the initial stages of development, the engine thrust was the key element of B-2's aerodynamic design. The thrust affected not only drag and lift, but pitching and rolling motions as well. Four pairs of control surfaces on the wing's trailing edge are used throughout the aircraft's flight envelope. However, all the elevens remain drooped during takeoff until an appropriate airspeed is attained to avoid potential contact damage and to provide a nose-down pitching altitude. The 509th Bomb Wing, located at Whitman Air Force Base, Missouri, is one of the only two Air Force units to operate the B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber, the oldest atomic-trained military unit worldwide. The unit can launch the B-2 directly from Missouri to any spot on the globe, engaging adversaries with large payloads and dropping nuclear bombs in wartime, causing mass destruction. B-2 has been a key factor for the U.S. Army in several wars. However, it will soon be replaced by a much more enhanced bomber.
On December 2nd, 2022, the U.S. Air Force unveiled the B-21 stealth bomber at Northrop Grumman's Plant 42 in Palmdale. It is a long-range, highly survivable aircraft that will replace the B-1 and B-2 bombers, becoming the backbone of the U.S. Air Force bomber fleet. The B-21 Raider is the first strategic bomber in more than three decades. It is a testament to America's enduring advantages in ingenuity and innovation. And it's proof of the department's long-term commitment to building advanced capabilities that will fortify America's ability to deter aggression today and into the future. While bombers like B-2 and B-21 provide high-profile stealth characteristics in a dynamic environment, modern drones with similar configurations are proving to be useful in uncontested airspace. The X-47B is an unmanned combat air system carrier, UCAS, developed by Northrop Grumman for the U.S. Navy. It is a tailless unmanned aircraft with a 62.1 foot wingspan and 38.2 foot length. The unique shape and design of the X-47B fulfill the stealth requirements. The aircraft was carried and delivered via a ship, and the sailors aboard the aircraft carrier assisted with unloading the X-47B unmanned combat air system demonstrator. On May 14, 2013, the U.S. Navy completed a major milestone when an X-47B completed a catapult launch from the flight deck of USS George H.W. Bush off the coast of Virginia. However, the drone did not land back on the aircraft carrier. After an hour and five minutes of flight, it touched down at the Naval Air Station Patuxent River in Maryland. The tailless, unmanned aircraft made its first carrier-based arrested landing aboard the USS George H.W. Bush on July 10th of the same year. The drone's unique design allows for its wings to be folded in, making it easier to store on an aircraft carrier. In April 2015, the X-47B changed the course of aviation history by successfully conducting the first ever autonomous air refueling. AAR. The X-47B successfully maneuvered behind a Boeing 707 tanker, taking over 4,000 pounds of fuel. This unlocked the full potential of what unmanned surveillance, strike, and reconnaissance systems can do in support of the U.S. Navy. The historic demonstration proved that X-47B was capable of performing standard missions like aerial refueling and operating seamlessly alongside a manned aircraft. Over the years, 
There has been a heated debate about the potential and limitations of unmanned aircraft vehicles. Since the start of the 21st century, the United States Navy has been looking for unmanned aerial tankers that could be deployed on the decks of its various aircraft carriers. The successful autonomous air refueling by an unmanned X-47B led to the development of a more enhanced unmanned aerial tanker. Surprisingly, the U.S. Navy's Unmanned Carrier Airborne Surveillance and Strike U-Class program has now evolved into the Carrier Airborne Refueling System CBARS, and the product was officially designated the MQ-25 Stingray in July 2016. There are high hopes that the Stingray will be operational by 2025 and 72 air vehicles will be acquired by the U.S. Navy. The Stingray will be capable of refueling all types of USN aircraft, including the upcoming F-35C Lightning II. This marks a significant stepping stone for the future of naval aviation, allowing at-sea aircraft the capability to be refueled efficiently by unmanned autonomous aircraft. Besides their fuel delivery capabilities, the MQ-25 will also have a secondary ISR role and carry radar for maritime operations to support the main fleet. Once operational, MQ-25 will refuel every carrier-based aircraft capable of refueling mid-air. Boeing and the U.S. Navy have recently carried out a series of tests to assess the deck handling characteristics of the MQ-25 Stingray aboard the USS George H.W. Bush. The MQ-25, which is basically designed for air-to-air -air refueling missions, performed various movements both on the flight deck and inside the carrier's hangar. The U.S. Navy Flight Deck Directors, also known as Yellow Shirts, used specific hand signals to give directions to the deck handle officer, DHO, who controlled the MQ-25 using a remote control system. According to Boeing, the controls are easy to use and specifically designed for young sailors familiar with video game controls. The demonstration was intended to ensure whether or not the MQ-25 Stingray is capable of integrating into the challenging environment of an aircraft carrier flight deck, both day and night. The MQ-25 successfully taxied, connected to catapults, cleared the landing area, and practiced parking. However, it did not take off or land on the ship yet. In addition to the team in the control room, the MQ-25 deck operators used Boeing's handheld deck control device to convert the sailors' directions into corresponding inputs for the MQ-25.
The new MQ-25 will be used for ISR, search and rescue operations, and to monitor underwater activities. The MQ-25 Stingray will undoubtedly change how drones are used on board aircraft carriers. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.